Welcome to episode three of Life in the SHL. Uh, it's going to be another busy week. We have our first Champions League games this weekend. So we play Friday and Sunday. And I do have a commercial shoot this week uh, through the team. So yeah, pretty uh, action-packed week. Obviously looking forward to those Champions League games. And then one cool thing I wanted to let you guys know that you can now join the channel. So get a membership. Uh, it should be down here below. Uh, the join button, click that and get some cool perks like Q&A, live streams, uh, get all these emojis, comment reply priority and in video shout outs and much more. So make sure to check that out. Uh, definitely helps me if you watch the videos, if you enjoy them, support the channel that way. But it's time to head to practice and get the week rolling. You gotta say they're good. <laughs> yeah, they're great. <laughs> uh, I just made some well, adjustments. Bauer's better. Bauer's better. <laughs> I made some adjustments and then, uh, but this should be fine. Yeah. At least it's just the gloves and like the shell. Wait, do you see the ring? It's all like they have to put different. Uh, oh, the, like on the horns. Yeah, it's all like. Uh, it's, I think it's like all CHL ads, and then yeah. it's like uh, with Warrior and stuff. Makes sense. Just got done at the rink. Um, it was lower body workout, uh, post play focus with uh, goalies for this week, and we did some uh, special teams as well. But next up, I'm gonna head out to uh, to get a blood test since I, I requested one, and the team kind of wanted me to do one since I'm vegan and see if there's any deficiencies, vitamins and all that kind of stuff. So I'm excited to see that. Um, every year at NHL training camps we do blood tests and I did ask Nashville to get my results but never got those back. So this will be the first time I'll actually hear something about a blood test result when I'm vegan. So excited for this one and hopefully the results come in a couple days so I can tell you guys in this episode what's going on with my blood. Set down for dinner, uh, Buffalo Tempe wraps by yours truly. And so I was just gonna do the premiere here. And Anneli is our first channel member on YouTube. So big shout out and big thanks. First ever channel member on YouTube. Appreciate it. So today I have that commercial shoot with uh, A and Dolls. Something with them today on the ice, off the ice. Excited to see what they have in store.
Mach sie gut, Tester. Somebody tips it from here. Still looks good. Yeah, what? So that was actually a fun little shoot with Yalas. They did a great job with the lighting, uh, even got to fly the drone, which was cool. And um, got to uh, keep a pair of Yala shoes from it, which is cool. But the next segment is something that uh, was very popular in the bubble videos. And that is the stuff we got from the team to wear for the season. So I have all my stuff here. Um, we are a Bauer team, so we're sponsored by Bauer. So most of this stuff is from Bauer, except one thing, which is kind of Bauer stuff still. Uh, it's this Lululemon hoodie, uh, which is cool that Bauer now does stuff with Lulu, uh, their sister companies. It's still branded as Bauer, but it's a Lululemon hoodie since I have the same exact one in my closet. And another hoodie here is what we wear for uh, pre-game warm-ups and stuff around the rink. Just got our, the logo and the number. Bauer as well. Uh, very nice materials, all the stuff. And this is also for the rink with the, with the logo and the, and the number. Pretty lightweight. Um, good for warm-ups if you want to wear this or the hoodie, I guess. Um, and then next up is more for travel, I guess. A Bauer, a little thicker version of a quarter zip. I think most of this stuff is meant to uh, be used when we travel, take the bus and all that kind of stuff. 
during the season. And also got these track pants from Bauer. Um, the pants and the quarters have both have little hockey sticks here, if you can see. Um, kind of a cool little detail for Bauer and their hockey stuff. And then last thing here is, obviously we're in Sweden, it's gonna get cold. So we got like a team winter coat, no logos, just the Bauer logo. Uh, but this is gonna be nice to travel with since it's already kind of getting, getting chilly outside. But this stuff is perfect, just what we needed, no more, no less. Um, and this Bauer stuff is very high quality, feels very nice. Uh, we'll definitely be a good looking group out there traveling. Like I always say, look good, feel good, play good. Yeah, Fox, you're gonna play hockey? No, uh, are we all done? Should I put the hockey sticks away? Are you gonna pick yours up and play with mama? First CHL game tomorrow against Bratislava here at home. Uh, I just got done at the rink and the doctor was there and the blood test result is back and there is no deficiencies in my nutrient intake. So that's one more reason not to be afraid to go vegan, that uh, you're not missing out on any nutrients if you are, which is really good to know actually. And you know, I've been feeling great the last couple weeks on the ice. so. Finally playing for points tomorrow. Rest of the day just recovering, getting ready for tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow morning skate and then a game. But I think I have a couple packages at home that I've been waiting for. Early the next morning. It's Champions League game day against Slovan Bratislava. Just got done with the morning skate. Here's the locker room. And morning tunes brought to you by James Barker Band. Shout out to my good buddy Bobby, who's their bass player. I see that. You fixed it? Uh, Corning fixed it. We do it. We, we, on the other, uh, what do you call this? Cage? Cage. You have uh, more of... Uh, oh, they came in? Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. The guys need to su stop shooting me in the head. Yes, good, good, good. I want to see our uh, CHL jerseys. Yeah, we have it here. Yeah, you have 31. Here is this. Ooh. Looks good. Nice. I like how simple it is. Yeah. Sweet. I need a finished flag here, though. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> you have a gift for me? Yes. For Fox? For, for oh, kids. perfect! Yeah, look at that. Yeah, we just got some like floorball sticks. Uh, yeah, we so see this we... will be perfect. Yes, good. Thanks, Lava. Yeah. And another good sign for today is my Aura Smart Ring. Just dropped my phone, but it gave me uh, 92 readiness and 85 sleep score. So I'm feeling good. This kind of confirms it. Got a good night of sleep last night. Um, just got home, parked. And right now I'm just gonna relax, hang out, take a nap in about an hour, and then head to the rink, and then it's showtime.
first win with Lexand, first win in the Champions League, uh, 5-3 over Slovan Pratislava. Uh, it's a pretty good feeling. I haven't, haven't won a game in, like I said, a year and a half, so uh, kind of miss this feeling for sure, and it was fun to be out there, and uh, almost 2,000 fans in the stands again, keeping it loud, so big shout out to you Lexand fans if you were at the Tegera Arena. But we were down 3-2 going in the third, uh, power play kind of took care of business, Justin Clues got us started, and and then uh, Mikael Ruahoma had, had two goals, my fellow fan, so big night for uh, for the special teams, I think we killed a five minute major as well, and, but personally, um, first goal was a first shot and a breakaway, um, he kind of slipped it, five hole, probably should have made that save, and then um, second goal was uh, kind of a third rebound, couldn't really... Um, control the rebound that well in tight so and then third goal was uh another breakaway the guy was trying to shoot he kind of missed the puck obviously i went down and the, he kind of continued and <laughs> shot it in the empty net but all in all a good start uh to the chl i think only 25 shots against uh we kind of controlled the play so it was good to get rewarded for that in the third period and get the three points i believe you get for a win that was good um Tomorrow is just the uh, off day, pretty much. We do have our SHL jersey reveal with the fans outside of the arena and then uh, meeting with the goalie coach uh, just to kind of get ready for Sunday's matchup, another CHL game against Trinek, Czech team. I think I, I said that right. But, but yeah, big win. Um, looking forward to Sunday already. Uh, kind of get things rolling here and get on a rhythm. So. Can I enjoy this one tonight and then uh, turn my focus into Sunday? Start day. Mikael Nord, Peter Almerstedt, Tobias Nordlander har fått den stora äran att döma den här matchen. Leksand alltså, Håkan då mot Trinets med Björn Hellqvist om honom. Han sa det att det är en mycket bra målvakt. Det är en räddande målvakt som läser spel. Det går från kant till kant och det är väldigt svårt för, för Leksand att hänga med här. Och Kaski såg, han gör några riktigt. Tar också den där teckningen, Keito. Och det är mål! Titta vad härligt! Det är kvitterat. Keito som åker tillbaka och det är mycket folk i vägen, han ser inte mycket löft. Ja, ska man vara riktigt ärlig så är de sista 3-4 målchanserna som Trinic eller... Råhomma med 4-15 kvar. Så jag bra, ger det mål! Och vad vackert och vad viktigt! Lans och väl förtjänt! Så bra sådan, två sekunder kvar, en sekund kvar, tiden kommer där. Och gå ut och den är läge att göra mål. Jag var beredd att säga att det ska överlägset till den andra. Och så släpper och... Another big win, 3-2 over Trinek. Um, that was a perfect weekend for us in Champions League start. Uh, six out of six points. And um, yeah, yesterday we played some unreal hockey in the second period. Uh, we were totally in control. Uh, it was really, really fun to watch, which, uh, yeah, I did a lot of watching. They didn't really have too many chances, so it was kind of a slower game for me. I think I had only uh, only 20 shots against, and uh, which equals out to a 90 90 save percentage. I'm not a big fan of uh, single game save percentages, but um, and the other number I've attached and will start attaching is expected goal save percentage. And from last game, it was 98.3. So what expected goals is? I'm not a great at explaining this but it's pretty much a quality of chance and every shot has a has a value on this chart uh, whether it's where it's shot from if it's one timer breakaway screen rebound um, so there's like difficulty factors so obviously if you get 10 easy shots you let in a one goal um, your save percentage might be 90 but your expected goal save percentage is probably like 50% because you should, probably should have saved them all. But if it's 10 breakaways, you're probably at 98, 99. So <laughs> that's a far better number to look at um, while evaluating these games, give you a realistic number. So obviously 96 on Friday's game and 98.3 yesterday. So so we're on the right track and, and obviously try to keep, keep that number as high as possible to keep the give the team a chance to win. What about the goals? Um, 
they scored again on the first shot, 15 seconds in. Uh, they just threw the puck from the point, and uh, their guy had a pretty, pretty awesome tip. We were up 2-1 after uh, Matt Cato scored and Kalas Yelling scored, both D-men, a couple, couple rips from the blue line. And um, then I think it was about five minutes left, they got a breakaway and they scored on that one. And then, um, But Oscar Lang came up huge again for us and got the game winner there at the end. So I uh, able to uh, snack the three points. Next week, we are continuing our Champions League journey. We're heading out to uh, Bratislava and um, Trinek. So we uh, go on the road and play these two teams. But you can support the channel, become a member by clicking the join button. There's also a link in description uh, and get access to uh, tons of great perks. And once again, subscribe, ring that bell for notifications so you don't miss out on anything, and I'll see you next week.